But the other thing, this, this thing on my feet is called a, uh, it's called a loop station. Everything you hear tonight is completely live. There's no backing track whatsoever. It's all made live on the spot, recorded on the spot, controlled with my feet. At the end of the song, it's deleted and it won't be the same at the next gig. The way that it works is you press record like this. And uh, when you press play, it loops back. You can add layers on top like this. Add a guitar layer. And then vocal. do a lot of that.
So um, I wanna I, I wanna play you a song that I, I wrote when I was 18 years old. And when I wrote this song, I was playing in, in, in like open mic nights in, in London. And my dreams didn't really stretch further than London. I just I, I wanted to move to London and I wanted to start being a singer-songwriter. And at, at these gigs, it's very different to gigs like this. Because the main thing are is people here. Whereas at these acoustic shows that I was playing in London, was always, the room was always empty, and if there was someone in it, they had the back to you. And they were talking to their friend and they did not want to listen to your songs. Um, but I would turn up and write different songs every week, and every week I'd be like, this is the song that's going to change it all, and then I'd play it and no one would care. Um, but when I wrote this song, I really thought this song was special. And uh, I took it into the open mic night and I played it, and no one cared. And the week after I played it again, no one cared. The week after I played it again, and then people started coming to the gigs to hear this song, and then suddenly I sort of cultivated this sort of small fan base, and then just started growing. And then this song became a hit, and then the fan base grew even more, and then I signed to a, to a record company. And when you sign to a record company, they say, let's take it worldwide and see if it works. So we went to Australia, and New Zealand, and Ireland, and places in Europe, and then Asia, and then South America, and Canada, and then there was this big question of, should we try America? And I know you guys think that English people come over to America a lot and find success here, but there's not a lot of us that, that do. We just stay here when we have success, because we're like, oh, good. Um, but I didn't think I'd be successful, because so many of my peers had come over here, toured for a bit, and then been like, it's too big. I mean, America is big, it's huge. Um, but you know, I was 19, and I thought, I get to have a free trip to America and, and, and see the country. So I came over and I, I ended up touring for like 18 months. And, uh, and then the song became a hit. And now sort of like 13 years on, we're here playing in Las Vegas to 70,000 people in the stadium. And, and I have to say, like, I come from a small farming town in a place called Suffolk. And we watch Las Vegas in the movies. You know, we've seen Las Vegas in the Hangover and Casino and all of these amazing things, Con Air. And, uh, <laughs> um, you know, being here always feels like you're in this kind of dream. It's, it's, a, it's a wild place. And I'm so happy to be here on stage to this many people. And the reason I'm telling you this story is when I play this song, it's not that long ago that I was playing this song to nobody. And I close my eyes and I remember playing to an empty room and I open my eyes and I see 70,000 people in Las Vegas. So please, if you know the words, please sing. Lights gone, days and struggling to pay rent. Long night, excuse me. Plus 18, stuck in her dead dream in this way since 18. The day the event seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries and days green. The worst things in life come free to us, but she's just under the upper hand. Goes mad for a crap and cramps. She don't wanna go outside tonight. Cause in the pipe Change, but don't we be out of the 